Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Janelle and if you are not new here, hey, the name's still Janelle. Thanks so much for being here. So today I have yet another 24 hour readathon for you guys. I am so excited. I think the last 24 hour readathon I did was like two months ago. I mean, it was probably uploaded within the month of March, but it, I haven't done one in like a solid two months or more. Um, so I'm really, really excited to be doing a, another one. Um, this is kind of spontaneous. I had like some extra days off this week. Um, and so that's how I chose to spend my time. I guess let's go ahead and talk about the TBR for this readathon. First up, we have The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. This is a middle grade novel basically about three kids who move into this new house um, with their parents. I think either their parents or just their mom. I don't actually know. Um, and apparently in their same city, there are three kids that look exactly like them that have the same first and middle name that go missing. And so they kind of are like weirded out by it and want to investigate it all. Um, but just as they're going to ask their mom, about the situation she mysteriously leaves on a business trip and the kids start to find hidden rooms and all kinds of secrets inside their home and so it just sounds really fun and really interesting and i have been craving a middle grade so i am really excited to dig into this one during the 24 hour 24 hour period next we have Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1, and this is the first ever manga that I will be reading. Um, I'm really excited about it, but this is basically a sci-fi where human experimentation happens and scientists are trying to give humans special abilities, but they don't know if they are going to become heroes or monsters out of it. So they don't really know how the experimentation is going to affect the humaneness of people. So, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. People love Tokyo Ghoul, so I'm excited to finally jump on the train. And next, I have The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This one I have been dying to read. You can ask Jonathan. I just, I've just been so excited about this one. Um, and I finally have a copy. I will say this dust jacket is really annoying me because it's uneven. And we don't like uneven dust jackets here. This is basically like Harry Potter meets Lemony Snickets. Um, basically there is a caseworker and he is told to go to this magical land, um, to this house on this cliff and to investigate these six magical children and decide if they are dangerous to the world or not. Um, so I'm excited. It sounds really fun. Apparently some things start to go a little, um, crazy over there. Um, and I'm all about that. I also love this cover. It really just gives me like elementary school vibes. I don't know what it is, but I I love it. So I'm excited. And then I have Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices series. I honestly don't know much about this book. I really don't. There's some shadow hunters, some werewolves, vampires. I don't know. What is it? Vampires? Warlocks? Warlocks. That's the one. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, but Yes, this takes place in Victorian London, I believe. Honestly, don't know much about it, but I've heard great things about it, so I am just going to jump into this one, you know, with all of the unknowns. Um, but yeah, this is on my TBR. And then last but not least, I have Saga Volume 2. So this one I've been super excited to read as well. I am a little bit nervous for this one, though, because this cover makes it seem like this one's going to be really gory, and I'm not really about the gore. So I guess we'll see how it goes, but I did want to throw a graphic novel into the TBR because it kind of just gives me a break from reading hundreds of words on a page and also lets me look at some pretty pictures and just makes me feel accomplished whenever I'm feeling like I'm not getting a book read. This is going to make me feel like I'm getting lots of books read. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the entire TBR for this 24 hour readathon. Oh, Jonathan wants me to show you guys this is the next book I'll be reading. It's called Sandalwood and Musk. So next hit thriller. Yes. Stay away from that sandalwood. And Musk. 
but that is all of the books that I have on my TBR I really hope I can get to all of these books I don't think I'm going to <laughs> to be honest I think if I don't start with this I won't finish it um, but honestly, I think I might start with one of these smaller books so that I can get some more read. Um, but yeah, so this readathon is going to start, mm, I probably could start it at 9. I was originally going to start this at 10 p.m., but it's 8.40 now and I literally have nothing else to do for the rest of the night. So I might start it at 9 p.m. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start this 24-hour readathon at 9 p.m. And I'm going to go until tomorrow at 9 p.m. Obviously, that would make it a 24-hour period. But yeah, um, I'm not really putting any rules or restrictions on this 24-hour readathon. I am going to sleep. I am just a sleeper. I cannot go 24 hours without sleep because Jonathan will suffer from my crankiness. So we're going to save him some bruises yeah. and some... <laughs> and some pain and i'm gonna i'm gonna sleep yeah thank you <laughs> uh, i think jonathan is going to participate a little bit in this 24 hour readathon and just do some reading with me so that should be fun um jonathan what are you reading i'll just be reading siege and storm siege and storm by lee bardugo that is the second the sequel to shadow and bone um so yeah he's reading that um, but I think this is going to be super fun. I'm really, really excited. I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in forever. And I am like so excited to be sending my day off that way. I am probably going to be switching from filming this between my camera and my phone. So if video quality is kind of fluctuating, just pretend it's just like prestige video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then I guess I will see you guys in 18 minutes when I start the readathon. Um, actually, since it's going to start in 18 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and tell you which book I'm going to be starting with. So I'm going to be starting this 24 hour readathon off with The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I'm really, really excited. I think I'm going to be able to like fly through this one. Um, so I'm very excited. So we're going to start with this one in about 18 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a cup of tea get maybe a snack or something and some chapstick on my lips because they are burning. I need some chapstick. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get cozy, get comfortable, and I guess I will see you in a few minutes. <laughs>
Okay, good morning. Yes, I'm in the same clothes because I can be, okay? Um, so I did a lot of reading last night. I think last night I got to like 280 something. I don't know, something. I got pretty far. Um, and then this morning I woke up and I just started reading again. I haven't read that much. I'm now on page 305. I have about, so I have about 100-ish pages left. Um, I'm really liking this book. It's really, really cute, and it's honestly, like, a pretty good mystery. Like, there's some things that happen in here that I, like, did not expect. Like, I had my own thoughts of, like, what was going to happen, um, and I kind of, kind of had this expectation for it to be, like, this kid's book, but it's actually pretty good, and it's definitely caught me off guard in some spots, so that's been really cool. Um, but it is now 9.14, um, I woke up at like 8.30 and then it just took me a while to like come to because I was so tired. Um, I think I went to bed at like 11.30. So I allowed myself to sleep a good bit um, because I don't want to be grouchy today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to finish this, hopefully I can finish this in the next hour. Um, I think I read a little over 200 pages in like two hours or something. So I think I can finish this in the next hour. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to move on to next. But I will update you guys once I am at that point. just finished The Strangers. I actually finished it a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Um, but this was a really, really cute story. And um, I guess there's a next, another one, which I'm, I kind of want to read. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this was really good. I am really satisfied, actually. Um, this was really really cute i would recommend this honestly for all ages like i didn't think it only pertained to kids i don't know there were moments where i was like oh that's cute you know like you could see that it was made for younger readers but majority of it like it was entertaining for me so um yeah this one was really really great um i have no idea what i'm going to read next i haven't really decided I think I either want to read Saga Volume 2 or Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1. Um, I think I just need a break from that. Um, I think I want to read a graphic novel of sorts, and I think I'm going to read Saga Volume 2. So I think I'm going to read this, and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I guess I will update you guys once I have finished this one. Oh, and I also need to update my Goodreads and my reading journal. Um, I also, <laughs> so many things. Um, I meant to, meant, well, I, I wanted to mention that I am currently listening to an audiobook. I am currently listening to Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo, um, and I'm really loving it. I, how much do I have left of it? I don't think I have that much left. Okay, so I'm listening to it on two times speed. It says I have two hours and 30 minutes left, which is basically an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll even finish that during this 24-hour readathon because there are times where I'm not going to be able to be sitting and physically reading. Um, so I guess I'll just listen to the audiobook. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to jump into Saga 1 and 2 and then I will update you guys after.
Okay, so I finished Saga Volume 2. I didn't like it as much as I liked the first one. Um, and again, there's just some unnecessary nudity. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is with this series. It was not gory, so I don't know why there's gore on the front, but it was good. I just didn't like it as much as I liked the first one, and I'm also, like, I feel like we left off on, like, multiple cliffhangers, like, multiple open-ended things, so... I don't know, I have volume 3 if I really want to read it, but I'm going to stick to my TBR. I think I'm going to start on The House on the Cerulean Sea next. It is now 10.40, so I think I'm going to make myself something to eat and listen to my audiobook while I make myself something to eat. And I'm going to update my journal and listen to my audiobook and just get some things done. Um, and then I'm going to sit down and read The House in the Australian Sea by TJ Klune, which I'm really excited about. And if I can finish this book, I will be so, like, so proud of myself. So hopefully we can. I think there's about like, almost 400 pages, which I feel like is doable. I feel like I could do it. We'll see, though. But yes, so I'm going to... Make myself some food because I'm hungry. Update my reading journal while listening to Clap When You Land. about an hour and 48 minutes left of clap when you land although I'm listening on it I'm listening to it on two times speed so it's probably about a little like 45 ish minutes left um but me and Jonathan are actually going to go to the pool in our apartment complex um and I'm going to be bringing the house in the cerulean sea with me um and hopefully excuse me make a dent in this and then I'm leaving Tokyo Ghoul as kind of like a break from this if I need it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna bring this one with me and we're gonna hang out at the pool um, until Jonathan has to leave. We don't know when that is, but we're gonna hang and I'm gonna read and we're gonna get some sun and it's gonna be great. So, yeah. Okay, so I've switched over to my phone because there's been a slight change in plans. Um, we didn't go to the pool because Jonathan had to order some shirts for our church. So we ended up going back home and then once he was done doing the shirts, we were going to go to the pool. But then he had to come to the church to clean up some stuff and help his brother with some other things. So I've decided to sit outside and do some reading so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know how long we're gonna be here and then I think we're gonna go get some food afterwards um, so yeah I'm going to be reading the house in the cerulean sea um, I was reading or I was listening to clap when you land I think I have like three chapters left or something from that book I'm almost done with it and um, as far as the house in the cerulean sea I'm only on page 18. So I haven't done that much reading, haven't made that much progress in it, so I'm hoping 
to finish this book today that would be fantastic um but if i don't it's not a big deal i am trying not to make this 24 hour readathon like really stressful and kind of pressure myself to read a bunch of books i really just kind of want it to be relaxing and me just be able to read as much as i want to read or read as little as i want to read so um yeah but i at the moment i do want to finish house in the cerulean sea Okay, so we left the church. Oh, um, look how yellow my teeth look in this. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, um, so disgusting. we left the church. I got to page 59 in the house in the Cerulean Sea. Um, but I have started to not feel that great. Uh, my throat is kind of hurting. And I'm starting to feel like I'm getting sick. Um, so we bought a thermometer and I'm just gonna see if I have a fever or anything. Um, and if I do, that's gonna suck. Um, but yeah, moment of truth, let's try it. Okay, 98.1, which is what it just said the first time. So I think I'm fine. Do you obviously um, have a low grade fever? No. That's my educated guess. No. Um, but I am still not feeling that great, so I don't know how successful this 24-hour readathon is going to be now, but, um, we're going to go, more. I guess, but if I'm not feeling great, I'm going to sleep. That's fair. Um, alright, so we're going to go get some food and then head back to the house, and I'm going to try and read some more. Okay, hello everyone. So, me and Jonathan ate, and I took a break and just watched some TV while we ate and then I started just to like I was cramping really bad so I decided to get in the bath and that helped a little bit um, but my throat is still hurting and I am just feeling like very tired and just like like I'm feeling sick um, which is making it 10 times harder to do this 24 hour readathon but I am determined to keep going, even if I don't get as much reading done as I had hoped for. Um, I did do some more reading um, while I was in the bath. Um, and I am now on page 70. So I feel like I am just like slowly moving through this book. Um, and it's not even because it's bad. Like it's actually really good and I'm really enjoying it. Um, but like I said, everything else going on is making it very difficult. Um... And I do want to be able to say that I finished at least three or four books um, during this 24 hour period. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read Tokyo Ghoul volume one, um, just to kind of give myself some motivation to keep reading. Um, and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit and listen to the last little bit of clap when you land and that will be the four books that i will finish and then i will continue to read the house in the cerulean sea but that way i'm not feeling pressured to finish it um because i feel like four books is a good number in a 24 hour readathon my goal is slash was definitely five um and i would love to be able to get to five i'm just really hoping that i start to feel better so that i can get to five otherwise this is gonna be rough. So, yes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start reading Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1 and switch back over to my camera. It's only 6.04, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the 24 hour readathon because not feeling up to, you know, just, we're not good today. <laughs> Nothing is great today. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the 24 hour readathon. I was able to finish 
Tokyo Ghoul, The Strangers, and I finished Clap When You Land, and Saga Volume 2. So for me, four books, that counts. That is enough. Um, even if I literally finished one book, I would be okay. Um, I did want to finish The House in the Cerulean Sea, but I didn't make it there, and that's okay. So I'm just kind of trying to let it go a little bit. Um, and I'm going to... I have to, there's another video that I have to film before I can rest, um, but at some point I'm going to rest because I think if I don't, I'm going to feel worse. So, that is the 24 hour readathon. I hope it was entertaining for you guys. I hope if you participated that it was fun. I, I hope you got some reading done. Or you avoided reading by watching this video. Either one, totally cool. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.